So I grew up in Hampshire and myself and my sister were the only two black people in our primary school and that came with its challenges. I actually remember kids shouting names at me across the playground and there's this phrase, you know, sticks and stones will break your bones but words will never hurt you but you know what, it's not true. The words hurt, they're powerful and they really stuck with me. Um, there were other challenges growing up in Hampshire, so we were trying to get skin-coloured tights. There were no skin-coloured tights for my skin tone. Um, there were no Afro hair products in the shop. We'd have to go to London if we wanted to get the right products for our hair. You can't just wash and go with Afro hair. Um, there were no t right tones of foundation for my skin. And so all of those things just led me to feel like somehow being black was wrong, it, I, I just didn't fit in. And I read this quote recently and it says, it's not the kinks in your hair you need to change, but it's the kinks in your mind. And that is so true. Um, and I was so blessed to have grown up in a home with a mum and dad and sister who loved me and affirmed me and supported my dreams so that those kind of unkind words didn't shape me and turn me into an angry, bitter person, but actually their love defined me and, and shaped me. And now I love, I love who I am. I love the colour of my skin. I love my hair. I love the things I can do with it. And my hope is that Black History Month isn't just a month and a moment, but actually it only serves as a reminder that we should love and accept each other's differences all year round. And that no matter how old you are, who you are, where you're from, what you look like, that you're exactly the way that you're supposed to be. You're unique and it's, it's right, it's perfect, it's not wrong. And that you know that you're awesome inside and out.